Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to create two simple physical modeling systems in Reactor um, using only noise oscillators as our sound inputs. The first one I'm going to work on is a guitar synthesizer called the Car Plus Strong. Uh, let's get started. It's going to create a macro and name it Car Plus. Um, and inside, let's start out by making a noise oscillator. Um, and we'll give it a constant amplitude of 1. And next, let's create a MIDI pitch and gate inputs um, that we'll use to control the synth. And first, let's uh, translate the pitch into frequency using the pitch to frequency module. And then from there, uh, we're going to translate from frequency into milliseconds, uh, which is pretty simple. Which is to take the reciprocal, uh, 1 over x, and then uh, multiply by 1,000. Uh, 1 over x is the time in seconds. Um, so when you multiply by 1,000, you get the time in milliseconds. And we're going to use this time to create a short burst of noise. Um, using the hold envelope and that's gonna control the hold time and then we'll use the gate to control uh, the trigger and amplitude inputs of the hold envelope cool now we can just multiply that versus the uh, noise oscillator we have here and it'll create a uh, short burst of noise when a when a new note is pressed. And now we get to the interesting stuff. Uh, first let's create an amplifier mixer module and eventually we'll create a feedback loop with this but for now we're just going to run the output of it straight into a single delay um, and the delay time on that is going to be controlled by uh, the MIDI pitch that's coming in, um, we've just translated that into milliseconds, so we can just run it straight into the, uh, run that time straight into the single delay module. Alright, and then the output of that, uh, we're going to run through a one pole low pass filter. Nothing too fancy. Um, and that's going to go straight to the output. So. So far that's pretty boring. It's just a quick burst of noise going through a low pass filter and then that's it. Um, but once we finish up with this, just to change a few variables here uh, to give us better better range of what we're controlling. Uh, we're going to loop the low pass filter back into the amplifier module and that's going to create a feedback loop, which is going to give us a pretty interesting effect, actually. Um, sounds fairly fairly much like a guitar. And we're going to need to create a control on the level of that and make sure that it's less than unity gain. Um, otherwise, it'll just feed back forever. And then we don't need too much of a range here. Um, because anything less than unity gain is going to cause the sound to drop off pretty quickly. All right. Let's finish hooking everything up here, and then I'll uh, play a, a quick audio sample for you. Oh, and of course we have to rearrange the panel here real quick. Just take a second. That's it. Okay, the second project I'm working on today is a slide flute model designed by Perry Cook. 
And I'm going to start out by creating a macro and renaming it. And inside, like before, we can put a noise oscillator. And this time I'm going to use a control um, to control the amplitude of that. I'm going to rename it noise. And we're not going to have much noise in this model. We just need a, a little bit of it to modulate an envelope with. So we're just going to have a maximum amplitude of 0.01. And we're going to create an ADSR envelope and all the knobs we need for that real quick. And then we're going to use a MIDI gate to control when that's triggered. Okay, and we're going to actually use the uh, envelope itself as a sound source this time. We're going to multiply the envelope by the noise module, but then we're going to add that to the envelope itself. And we're going to use that as an input. Um, first, let's create a note pitch module and again translate into frequency and from frequency into milliseconds, taking the reciprocal and multiplying by 1000. And just like in the last project we did, um, we're going to use this time to control uh, a delay line, actually, a couple delay lines. <clears throat> so the first delay line is actually going to be half this time. Um, so multiply by 0.5 here and create a delay line. And this envelope plus the noise here is going to flow into this, the delay line, but we're also going to want to have a feedback loop. So we're just going to add another add module for now, and we'll leave the second input empty till a little bit later on. And now we're going to take the output of the delay line and run it through a simple uh, wave shaper. It's just going to be a subtracted self cubed, y equals x minus x cubed. Um, so because of that operation, we're going to need to make sure also that any input that comes into this delay line needs to stay less than one because if it's greater than one, one, it'll cause some nasty feedback. And we're going to create another empty add module here that's also going to be a, a second feedback loop for later. And the output of that is again going to go through simple one pole low pass filter. Rename it bright and change the parameters a little bit, give us a uh, better control of what we're trying to do. And then we're going to run it through another delay line um, that uses the time that we calculated earlier from the note pitch, the MIDI pitch. And again, we're going to run it, the output from the filter into the input of the delay line. And then we're going to use the output of this second delay line uh, to feed back into uh, the two add modules that we created earlier but haven't really used yet. Um, but since we're going to be adding that same value into the feedback loop two different times, we're going to want to make sure we multiply it by 0.5 first, just to keep us in a a safe zone uh, so we don't create a feedback loop that is constantly building. All right, let's feed those back. We can uh, rearrange this real quickly, keep it all on the screen. And uh, we're going to control the overall amplitude um, of this structure by the envelope that we used as a sound source at the beginning. So let's just connect that in. Multiply the output by that envelope. 
And we're basically all done. Just finish wiring everything up in the larger structure here, and I'll give you a quick sound sample. Oh, and of course, again, we're going to have to rearrange the structure real quick.